Hello and welcome back to my House Romano gameplay campaign, whatever. So I'm trying to remember what we did last time. It seems that, that we are preparing our forces. Yeah, they are exercising. And I have new guns. Now I want these infantry anti-tank guns. And let's switch these, like that. Now how's the deployment? Ah, oh, pretty good. Yeah, let's just keep going as it is. Dig the trench, not complete yet. Mm, let's get the decryption and... Improved artillery, I believe that's a good choice. Selve. Now then, I believe we can get all of these guys to regular level as they are trained now. And did I have any focuses left? Yeah, I have still two for land doctrine to boost that. But that's it, so yeah, let's continue with Land Doctrine Armored Operations. Almina. Do you have all the manpower you need? Yeah, it, it would seem so. That's good. So, dig a trench is done. Mm. Should I switch to war economy? Buy that national focus. Mm. No, or maybe. Well, it's only 35 days. Actually, let's go. Let's start fortifying stuff. Uh, if there is ever a war between Finland and its eastern neighbor, then they will try to come through Karjala. It is something that we cannot allow. Although we don't actually benefit anything from that focus, since we are only holding this line here. However, we have a focus. Create fallback lines, that will help us. And is there anything else I need? Not really. We could save some political power for now. And as you can see, I have all these Soviet Union states as my core state. We are one of my focus. It was uh, retake the Russian throne. Yeah, so now let's wait. I really need these troops as quickly as possible. These are getting trained. Okay, a few more. Improved artillery, good. And since we aren't at war yet, so we could go for industrial stuff. Let's get dispersed industry and new artillery. And fortify Southern Karjala is done. Let's go for um, fortify Karjala. While the enemy is stopped at south, we must ensure that they won't circle around the lake. Ladoka, Ladoka in Finnish, and strike at us from behind. And once again, Karjala will get some forts, which won't benefit us at all. Let's cancel a few lines. Elbe. 
and create a fallback line here and hope oh, wrong one here is that it no here's still one and you will train now on from Pohjanmaa Uh, free civilian factories. Let's still build. Well, actually, no. Let's get some military factories going on. Keskuste. These are almost trained. Only this guy is left. The Munich Agreement. I suppose I could stop exercising. Where's this one guy? Here. Take a new army and exercise alone so the others won't uh, waste their uh, equipment. Five there and five here. And here's two, two, two. Um, not enough. I mean, I want more tr troops here since we don't have a river bonus. Okay, good. More more troops. Six here. Four and four. Well, there's still time. And this will only take 28 days. And it's supposed to be researched at 1943. So we will definitely research that now Valmiina. and let's see six yeah go here and how's your exercising going training almost done there we go good return to this army and what is Soviet Union doing anti-fascist diplomacy and let's fortify Southern Finland by fortifying the rest of our southern border we will force the enemy to either accept heavy casualties or strike even farther north it's just shame that we don't benefit from these forts for now here Oh, we are out of manpower. Interesting. Hmm, let's go with industrial stuff. Advanced machine tools. Wait a minute. 10. Is this right? 7, 7, 10. I don't think I need this much. Soldiers here. Seven, seven, ten. Hmm. Keskuste. Let's take Keskuste. these guys and give them to him and go here, but you will go here. So seven, seven, seven. Six six six. Okay. Let's get engineer company to get extra entrenchment. Hmm. Well, we need more men here. Yeah, this focus is almost done. Then we go for fortify north. Come on, quickly now. There we go. By fortifying our northern border, we will make sure that the enemy will not be able to just walk around our defenses. 
but they will, since we are not defending it. Three military factories. Um, hmm. I need basically everything. Oh no, that was wrong. Yeah, this is fine. Two, two, one. Hmm. Okay, we will get this fallback line in time, that's good. And then we go for coming storm and mobilize the reserves to get more population, recruitable population. And here, now you have 2, 2, 2, yeah, 6, 6, 6, 7, 7, 7. Hell and heaven. I will also need someone to guard my ports, but I would rather use like those reserve divisions for that. Yeah, there's still time. Here. Deploy here in Uusima. From now on, let's give one more to this fallback line. I mean, two more. Mm, good. Now for. Well, we have still time for this, so let's go for coming storm. Only 35 days. A storm is brewing in Europe, and we must ready ourselves for it. Thank you. We need more manpower. And I suppose a few more units. Let's see, I have three ports here. Uh, let's create six. Six divisions. German Reich claims memo. Not really our concern. And since we have these, our basic infantry divis divisions, one extra, I will create a third army. And let's get a defense guy for them. Here, Erkki Raapana, Trickster. Improvisation expert and guerrilla fighter. That's nice. Um, red color and third army insignia. And they will help with this line. Uh, fallback line here. Uh, infiltration assault to reduce supply consumption. Nice. Good, now for mobilized reserves. It's becoming clear that we are on a path of war, and as such, we must mobilize our reservists and prefer, prepare for the worst. Indeed, indeed. I need more war support. Can we... No, we can't do war propaganda just yet. Soon German Reich will do something. And we can get war propaganda against them. Now for Recon Company. Come on, I need the manpower. Soviet Union Operation Jet. You have, well, much more divisions than I have. But that's okay. Mm, 
Mm, engineer company is done. Do I need artillery? Yes, anti-air upgrade. There we go. Mobilize the reserves and let's create fallback lines now. By creating a numerous, numerous, what? I don't know how to pronounce it. Fallback positions for our forces, we will be able to fight efficiently even if our main lines were to fall. Now, this is what will benefit us. Thank you. Let's see our fortifications. Uh, two, two, two. Five, two, and two, two, two. So actually, this place and those focuses actually aided us, which is nice. Shangxi has capitulated. Again, not my concern. Do I need anything right now? Well, let's get en encryption. Fate of Czechoslovakia, Zox submits to Italy. Yeah. So Molotov Ribbentrop packed, that's not good for us. Militarized schools. Hmm. Where are our manpower going? I do not know. Hmm, I'm... Well, I still have time to exercise these. Fallback lines are done. Anti-air defenses, it would also increase our stability. That sounds nice. Hmm, but then again... So does this. Uh, let's get actually. Yeah, let's get anti air defenses. By creating an AA defense network in southern Finland, we can defend our industry from enemy bombing runs. Okay. Three civilian factories. Do I need more civilian factories? Yeah, maybe. I can actually edit this fallback line a little bit. Like this. And we have three yeah, three, three, two. That's all right. Let's just quickly get these done, these reservists, to guard our ports. Communist China has capitulated. Okay, that's okay. And Molotov Rip and Drop Pact is done. Let's get support weapons 3 to get more defense. Italy joined Axis. And here it is. This can't be good. And it isn't since Soviet Union has now claims on our territory. Although, it doesn't matter. I hope we can destroy them. Now, what's next? Radios for all. And we have a lot of political power. That's nice. Danzig or war. Should I get? Let's get improved anti-air. That's good. 
and also improve our artillery like this they are almost um, regular level hmm Maybe we can try train a few more units. Um yeah, reservist. You will get also a commander. No really matter which one. And I won't assign you to field marshal. Since I'm not certain, but they might lose, I mean, Field Marshal might lose a little bit of bonuses when he gets more army. Uh, I mean, like these generals into him. Or something. <laughs> but I'm not certain about that. Radios for all and now for future of warfare. More and more of our tactics are being fine-tuned for finished terrain. As new tactics are blended with old ones, we are seeing a great improvement in our military capabilities. Army experience, blah blah blah, and yeah. Uh, national spirit enhanced tactics, attack defense on core territory. That's nice, let's get it. And... To Vasa it is, and to Turku. Turku might also need one, one, one coastal fort. No, then let's just wait. Poland refuses German ultimatum and now they declared war I suppose we can soon start war propaganda against him hmm around Machinot and they are trained excellent Still no option to do war propaganda against German Reich. They are about to defeat Poland. I guess they need only this region. Infiltration assault is done. Now for, now for night assault tactics. And Poland has capitulated. And now we can do war propaganda against German Reich, which will increase our war support. Um, yeah, what next? Equipment effort, maybe not. Uh, expand VL. Valtion Lentokone Tehdas is providing us with small quantities of aircraft. But this is not enough. By expanding VL, VL, we will ensure sufficient aircraft production for our nation. Yeah. Luxembourg has capitulated. And actually we could do improve worker conditions to get more stability. For we will lose it when the war starts against the Soviet Union. And they should attack pretty soon, although I have 
good defenses now, so that might hold them back a little bit. I have now pretty good forts all around me. But maybe more wouldn't hurt. Oh, well, actually, that's enough, I believe. Norway joint allies. Yeah, Soviet Soviet troops on my border. That's concerning. Denmark has capitulated. Iceland take controls of foreign affairs or something. Didn't read it completely. Mm -hmm. Now for establish military workshops. <clears throat> By creating many small workshops across the country we can quickly meet the growing demands of our military while preventing the enemy from easily targeting them. And we will get this national spirit which grants um, factory bomb vulnerability whatever minus five percent and three military factories let's get them for artillery hmm we need steel and wait a minute did it just say that Soviet Union is justifying against us I probably clicked it away. So now let's improve relations with Sweden. For they might help us and also get one more steal from well Sweden. That should um, improve our relations with them. Or at least something. So yeah, Soviet Union is justifying against us. The Russians demand Karelia. Uh, citing the... Citing? Yeah, maybe. The need to create a secu security buffer for Leningrad. Officials from the Soviet Union have asked for a revision of our borders. They want us to cede Karelia to them and judging by the built-up Soviet forces along our border, they will not take no for an answer. How should we respond? We have no choice but to accept their demands. No way. Let them come if they dare. Yeah, and actually it's almost an half an hour, so I will see you on the next episode and we will have war with the Soviet Union then. Thank you for watching and bye bye.